Hey everybody, welcome back to Cruise Blog. It's Allie and today we're going to be talking about Carnival Cruise Line's Cheers drink package. I'll be talking about whether or not I think the drink package is worth it on Carnival Cruise Line. I tried it out to see whether the package was worth $80 per person per day. Let's get into it. After booking a cruise, one of the most popular add-ons is an alcoholic drink package. There's nothing quite like having a delicious cocktail at the pool or a specialty latte in the morning to start your day while cruising. Vacation is meant to be relaxing and not stressing over the cost of every drink that you want to enjoy. If you're planning to go on a carnival cruise, you might wonder if you should purchase Carnival's alcoholic drink package, which is called the Cheers drink package. You're not alone if you're considering whether or not the package is worthwhile. Because Carnival Cruise Line is known for having some of the craziest parties and rowdiest crowds on board, the Cheers Package is a common pre-cruise purchase. Purchasing a drink package can allow you to let loose on board without worrying about racking up a large bill from your onboard drinking. As a frequent cruiser, I typically don't purchase drink packages because honestly they're expensive. Moreover, I receive free cocktails when I cruise with Royal Caribbean, which is who I cruise with more often, because of my loyalty status. With five free drinks daily, there's little need to purchase a drink package in fact, the one time I did purchase a drink package on Royal Caribbean, I found the high cost to not be worthwhile when I already received the five free drinks each day. And after one day of drinking, I threw in the towel and my liver thanked me. Since then, I haven't even looked at the price of a drink package when cruising. However, after booking my recent Fortnite cruise on Carnival Valor, I was surprised to see the drink package was fairly reasonably priced. For two people, the package was only $660 for a weekend cruise to Mexico. Considering this was cheaper than my package with Royal Caribbean, I thought the splurge might be worthwhile. Even after six cruises with Carnival, I've never purchased the drink package before. While still expensive at $82.54 per person per day, I wanted to see if purchasing Carnival's Cheers package was worth the money or not. So next, what's included in Carnival's drink package and what are the restrictions? The Cheers drink package includes most beverages on board Carnival's cruise ships. Everything from cocktails, coffee, and soda are included in the Cheers package. The drink package with Carnival can be purchased before you board in the cruise planner or after you set sail. However, as we mentioned, you'll always pay a higher price on board the ship. Because of this, Carnival's website indicates that you should book beforehand because you can save up to 10% on the drink package. Unlike some cruise lines, however, Carnival's drink package limits the number of alcoholic drinks that you can order each day. The Cheers package includes up to 15 alcoholic drinks within a 24 hour period, which is from 6 a.m. to 6 a.m. each day of your cruise. After you've consumed the 15 alcoholic drinks, you are not able to purchase any additional alcohol until the next day. So on board our cruise, while the bars were busy, the service was quick throughout, and this made it easy to get drinks whenever we wanted. Because I was trying Carnival's drink package for the first time, I was eager to taste a variety of cocktails on the ship. We were especially ready to have a drink on board Carnival Valor after our ship was delayed due to a hurricane. Our first drink was easier to get than we anticipated as bar servers were walking around with rum punch in the buffet. With the swipe of our card, we had cocktails in hand and we made our way to the epic sail away party. This was a fun sail away party because our cruise was going nowhere, so everyone was very excited to be on board. With Hurricane Francine delaying the previous sailing, our cruise was cut short and we weren't able to make it to Cozumel, Mexico. Instead, we cruised out to the ocean for two days before returning to New Orleans. This gave us plenty of time to try out all of the bars on Carnival Valor. During the sail away party, we also tried out the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar for Mojitos. Although the bar looked busy, we were able to get our drinks quickly. The ship was technically still docked in Louisiana as we were sailing away, so we each had to pay around $1 in taxes because we were not at sea yet. Later that evening, we also ordered martinis with our dinner, which felt like such a luxury. It was convenient not having to worry about paying $15 for a single drink. We each had about three drinks on the first day of the cruise, which isn't exactly enough to break even. Without ports of call, we enjoyed the diverse bars and cocktail menus during our two sea days. When deciding if the drink package is worth it, one consideration should include the amount of time that you'll actually spend on board. Itineraries that are port intensive will not have as many opportunities to take advantage of your drink package on board the ship. On the other hand, more time on the ship gives ample time to try out all the bars. Considering our cruise ended up being only a three night itinerary to nowhere, we wanted to try all of the signature bars on board Carnival Valor. This included the classic Red Frog Rum Bar, the Alchemy Bar, 
the Red Frog Pub, and Blue Iguana Tequila Bar. In addition, our drink package included specialty coffee. So each morning of our cruise, we made our way to the Java Blue Cafe for a latte to start the day. These lattes cost around $6 each with the gratuities, and I love to start my cruise with a specialty coffee in the morning. However, coffee isn't exactly where you will make your drink package worthwhile. Having the drink package provided a new element to my Carnival Cruise experience, though. I was excited to try the different bars on board, and that's not usually something that's on my agenda. Some of my favorite drinks included fruity cocktails, martinis with dinner, mimosas in the morning, and mojitos in the evening. I also liked being able to try out new cocktails without having to worry about the cost. With so many different drinks and bars to try on a carnival cruise, nothing ever felt repetitive with the drink package. Each restaurant has its own drink menu, such as a specialty steakhouse. In fact, one of my favorite drinks on board was a watermelon martini that I had during our specialty dining meal on the last night of our cruise. Our second and third days had a heavier emphasis on the drink package because because we were at sea and lounging on the ship. I loved having a cocktail on the top deck, taking in the fresh sea air and the calm seas. It was also really fun having drinks with dinner each night and during the nightly entertainment. Although I liked having the drink package during our cruise, I'm honestly not sure if the money was worth it for me. I'm personally not a heavy drinker, so purchasing the drink package isn't a must do for me. I love having some drinks while cruising as it's a quintessential cruise experience, but I'm not someone who can drink heavily for more than maybe one or two days at maximum. Being able to try any drink I wanted on board at any time was a real luxury that I hadn't experienced before on a carnival cruise. There was no pressure to finish a drink that I didn't particularly care for, and I liked this. Also, I appreciated the freedom to try different cocktails without worrying about whether I would actually like it or not. When I pay for drinks individually on a cruise, I normally default to my go-to order to make sure that my money isn't wasted. Our cruise was meant to be a four-night itinerary, but we only sailed for three nights with our revised sailing. After two days of drinking throughout the day and into the night, I was ready to be sober for a little while. I thought to myself, I could not get my money's worth on a seven-night cruise with a drink package, but that's just me. Because my mind is mathematically wired, I wanted to make sure my money didn't go to waste. I found myself ordering drinks even when I really didn't need or want another one. So you have to remember that your mindset might change when you invest hundreds of dollars into drinks before your cruise. This can lead to drinking more than you want in order to feel like your drink package was worth the splurge. If you plan to drink heavily and consistently on your cruise, then Carnival's Cheers package could be worthwhile for you. With cocktails costing $12 with an 18% gratuity added on top, you could estimate around $14 for each cocktail that you have on board. This means you should plan to have about five to six drinks each day of your cruise to break even. If you mix this in with some specialty coffee, bottled water, or energy drinks, the package could be financially worth it. If you don't plan to drink consistently, you could also find value in the drink package because it offers you peace of mind. Some people don't want to worry about paying a large bill at the end of their cruise. By purchasing your drinks beforehand, you can let loose and drink wherever, whenever, and whatever you want. This can make your cruise feel more inclusive, which is worth the add-on cost for some. A shorter itinerary with sea days is probably the best opportunity to get your money's worth from a drink package as you'll have enough stamina to drink consistently with more time on board. Similarly, those traveling with a group like a bachelorette party or a family reunion who plan to party together in groups will likely find the drink package worthwhile as well. However, whether the drink package is worthwhile on a carnival cruise ultimately comes down to your personal preference. Everyone has a different travel style and cruise budget that they need to consider when they're deciding if they should purchase the drink package. You should also consider everyone's drinking habits in your stateroom before purchasing. Because you'll be spending hundreds of dollars on your drink package for your cruise, you want to ensure that you can confidently make the investment worthwhile. So here's when I think the Cheers package could be worthwhile. Number one is that you're a heavy drinker. Those who like to drink substantially and consistently can easily get their value from a drink package. Alcohol adds up quickly on a cruise, so these cruisers will not struggle to get their money's worth. Number two is that you enjoy variety. The drink package provides freedom and flexibility during your cruise. You can try new cocktails or drinks and expand your horizons without worry. Number three is that you're cruising with a party crowd. Carnival is a go-to cruise line for groups traveling together, looking to celebrate and have a good time. If you're planning to party with your friends and family, investing in a drink package is probably a good idea. 
And number four is that you want peace of mind. If you want to have everything already paid for before you get on board your cruise, purchasing the drink package could be a good idea. This ensures that you won't be overwhelmed by a large bar tab at the end of your cruise unexpectedly because there's nothing worse. But here's when I think the Cheers drink package would not be worthwhile. First is that if you're a light drinker, even if you plan to have two drinks each day of your cruise, you won't get the financial value from a drink package. Lighter drinkers are better off purchasing drinks individually. Number two is if you're sailing on a port heavy itinerary, you'll get the most value from your drink package when on a ship instead of exploring a port of call. The more time you have on board, the more opportunities you have to utilize your drink package. Number three is your cruise is more than a weekend sailing. It's easier to drink continuously if you're only on board a cruise ship for a few days. This also creates a now or never mentality, which makes it easier to drink more often. Those sailing on longer cruises could lose their stamina, which makes it harder to drink consistently for days on end. Number four is that you're on a tight budget. Carnival is one of the most affordable cruise lines in the industry. If you're stretching your budget to get on board, you're better off finding cheaper drinks in your port of call. Unless you're sure that you can get your money's worth, try other strategies for cheaper alcohol. All right, everybody, that's all we have for today. Comment below if you prefer to get Carnival's drink package when you set sail on their fun ships or whether you think the package is not worth the investment. Thanks for tuning in today, everybody, and be sure and like and subscribe to Cruise Blocks so that you can be notified every time we have a new video. Until next time, happy cruising.